So you're interested in automation. You've heard about the Apricot product family, but you're not sure which instrument is the right one for you. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an introduction to the Apricot family, tell you a little bit about each instrument, starting with the S1, the S3, the PP5, and finishing with the DC1, and hopefully giving you an idea of which instrument might be the best fit for your lab and your workflows. So if we start with the S1, just over here, the S1 is a semi-automated pipetter. So what does that actually mean? The pipetting on the S1 is automated. So you control it through the software, uh, through this nice touchscreen interface you can see here. But the movement of your deck, the movement of your plate is manual. So if you can see here, I can move my deck up into position and then lock it in when I'm happy. I can then pipette into that plate using the software. So with this instrument, you use a tip loading system called Easy Load. So we can easily unload and reload our tips and you can work in 96 and 3 4 well plates and you can work either in full head pipetting or in columns if you're doing something like a serial dilution. So this instrument is great for perhaps if you're new to automation or if you're interested in just automating a quick and simple liquid handling task. You might be just doing an addition to a plate you might be stamping out multiple plates, you might be doing a serial dilution. Uh, great for all of these little liquid handling tasks that you might otherwise do manually. Now, with this instrument, we also use exchangeable cores. So with two 96 cores, you can cover a volume range from one to 1,000 microliters. And with our 384 core, you can cover one to 125 microliters. So it's really versatile for all the different volumes and different plate types that you might be using in your lab. So, if we move on from the S1, here we have the S3. So with the S3, it's very similar to the S1. It has a lot of the same strengths in that it's very easy to use, nice big interface here, um, but it actually has an automated deck. So in this case, you have an additional deck position, three total, uh, and you can do the same kind of liquid handling tasks, but it's automated in terms of moving the plate. We still use the easy load tip system, and we also still use the exchangeable pipetting cores. And one of the really cool things about both of these instruments is that I can actually go over to the S1 here, simply lift this up, and I can take my pipetting core here and take this over to my S3. If I lift this up in the same way, and you can simply slot that into place on your S3. So with one instrument and three cores, you can cover multiple plate types and a broad volume range. And the great thing is you can even share these cores between the two instruments. So with the S3, um, it can be better suited for maybe more complex liquid handling tasks where you need the additional deck position uh, or where you're doing more than one liquid handling step. Um, we have a lot of customers who like to use this instrument to automate simple kits because it's really well suited for those kind of applications. Uh, with the S3, because you have the automated deck, it's also uh, well suited for integration. So you can integrate it with other instrumentation. With these two instruments, you might be uh, trying to decide between the two. Now the S1 can be great, like I said, if you're doing fairly simple liquid handling tasks, but it also be really useful if you're trying to do something by eye. A lot of our customers like to use the S1 because they're taking supernatant off a pellet and they want to be able to see exactly when to stop the deck. With the S3, as I mentioned, we have a lot of customers who are using it to automate kits because you can have multiple steps within a workflow. But ultimately, both of these instruments are great for any of the simple liquid handling tasks that you might have around your lab. So now let's move up the range to the PP5. So the PP5 is a step up from the S3. You can see with this instrument, we have two additional deck positions. We even have an extra position just down here in the basement that can be used for a wash station or for a reagent reservoir. Now with the PP5, we have a fixed core for higher performance pipetting. We can do 96, 384, and we can do 1536 by quadrant, and we can do both full head pipetting. We can also do by column and by row. So with the PP5, you're getting a lot of extra performance with the fixed core that we're using in this instrument. So the PP5 is great if you're starting to move into short workflows or you have multiple liquid handling steps in a row that you're trying to use it for. Much like the S3, it's very well suited to integration because it also has an automated deck. And we have a lot of customers who really like this instrument for applications like taking four 96 plates and reformatting them into a single 384 plate. 
And we have a lot of these instruments that have been used, much like the S3, for automating different kits, where you have multiple liquid handling steps, and you just write a program that you can run over and over again to automate those workflows in your lab. Finally, with the PP5, uh, we also use the easy load tip system that we spoke about on the S series earlier. Uh, but we're going to move on now to our auto load instrument, the DC1. With the DC1, we have a bit of a step change from the earlier instruments in the Apricot product range. The DC1, as we mentioned earlier, is an auto load instrument, so it loads its tips from a tip box on the deck. We have multiple deck positions here in a workstation. Now, the DC and DC1 stands for dual core. We have a high volume pipetting core and a low volume pipetting core on this pipetting head. So that means we can cover a full volume range from 1 to 1,000 microliters with a single head. Now, on the deck of the DC-1, you can have your plates in either landscape or portrait orientation. And the DC-1 is capable of petting in either single channel, 8 channel, or 12 channel. So it's capable of working either by columns or by rows, as well as having that single channel mode. So the DC-1 is really well suited if, for example, you need to run a longer workflow where you need more deck positions. It could be the case where with the DC-1, um, you're looking to have more walkaway time. So you can set up a workflow and leave and come back when it's completed. So the DC-1 is great for those people who want something that's a little bit more hands-off. We have lots of people who use this instrument for perhaps cherry picking applications when they're using the single channel mode. They might be doing serial dilutions and they could be doing that either in landscape with the eight channel mode or in portrait with the 12 channel mode. But ultimately, all of the liquid handling tasks that you're able to do on the earlier instruments, you can do in a more hands-off way with the DC-1, but without using the full head pipetting capability. So in summary, the S1 and the S3 are great instruments for simple liquid handling tasks. With the PP5, you can take multiple steps in a workflow and automate them. And with the DC-1, you can take a full workflow from start to finish and do it in a hands-off way. So if you'd like to learn more about any of these individual products, feel free to go to our website and read all the information there, or reach out to us directly, and we'd be really happy to figure out how an apricot instrument can help you in your lab with your workflows.